vanishing point, diminishing point, uh, converging lines, point of convergence, single point linear perspective. <laughs> goes by so many different names, isn't it? It's a scene like this that you're already familiar with that, like train tracks, we've all seen this as we all get into photography. We all go out there and, and take a photo like this. If you don't have a train track, you can do this with a road. A road does the same thing. So, as we've talked about previously, if I can bring it up, where are we? Diminishing scale perspective. That's the one. So, it's uh, lens subject to lens distortion, all that sort of thing. So, things that are further away get smaller and closer. So, parallel lines is the key ingredient here. So, train tracks have parallel lines. Parallel lines. They don't have to necessarily be lines, but elements that are lined up. So, the bottom of this pier doesn't have lines, but they've all got the same uh, where the pier touches the water. That creates a line. It does. Does that make sense? Alrighty. So, this works, and you see this, and it gives that perception of depth. That's what it's all about. And composition, when people talk about compositions, one of the things they miss all the time is that placing the uh, the elements in the scene, how they all interact with each other, how the main subject and all the elements interact with each other, is a great definition. But composition is so much more than that. It's about, as you know, directing the attention, providing the narrative as they go through and look at the hierarchy of different visual elements, and also creating depth. You know, if, if, if we didn't have this, then it would just kind of look like a flat image. We need to have things that are further away look smaller, and you need that atmospheric uh, perspective, all these sorts of issues, with the, or not issues, all these sorts of inclusions that create that sense of depth to try and in, get us into and looking into and through the photo. That's, that's how you get a really engaging and impactful photo. I talked about this on a recent podcast with Nova Buzz with Jürgen Strauss. So much fun. It's a small business podcast. I got in there and talked about business, the community, you guys, and I talked about things like that, about that composition and, and, and how to create that engaging photo because for small business owners, you want that call to action. You want to try and get them to stop the scroll is the, is the term, stop the scroll. And this is one of those things that does that. It, it just grabs your attention because you've got that depth. You may stand out more. Basic ingredients, two parallel lines, and a vanishing point. Yep, you need a vanishing point. <laughs> uh, if you don't have a vanishing point, I'm going to get to that one. Okay. Uh, okay, two-point perspective. So, you can have an image like this one. Let me just bring this one up. A photo like that. It doesn't have a vanishing point or a diminishing point. It doesn't have a point inside the frame that they're a point of convergence, does it? But you can see there that we have parallel lines again the roof line, and the footpath, okay? And they are converging, but we don't have a convergence point. So what this does is this provides scale, provides depth, provides proportion, and you can imagine standing there because if you stood there and you stood close to the, to the building, this is what happens. And this only works if you stand at the corner of the building, all right? Another example is... Uh, for cars, here we go. So this is another example. So with with cars, uh, get down nice and low, and not only can you have those two perspectives going off to the side, again shooting from the front corner of the car, because we've shot from a lower angle, we've got a third point perspective shooting up. So it just works. It works so well, doesn't it? Uh, okay, I think that'll wrap it up. Nice and quick one today. If you've got any questions, just send me a message or like a couple of people have or just put something in the chat and no doubt it is in my Stronger Photo Composition four-step system. It'll no doubt be there. That's the link. And as you know, four-step system uh, breaks down 100 plus different composition techniques and tools, which is really exciting. It makes it simple, simple, simple. First one, position and prepare your camera. Second, Position the main subject, the visual anchor. Uh, number three is position all the, the contextual elements or the other focal points. Number four is editing, where you can go in there and, and really make it just pop. All that composition, all those efforts in your compositions, you can make certain parts of the photo stand out by doing local adjustments and that sort of thing. We'll wrap it up there. So thanks for thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.